spot. We now know who is responsible for dozens of dead geese in one local neighborhood. After months of investigating, wildlife officials say a pest control company is to blame. Now that company is facing some fines. Channel 2's Mike Pachenik is live in North Fulton County for us with why neighbors don't believe the fines, Mike, are enough for what they saw with that video. Yeah, George, it is not uncommon to see Canada geese flying high over neighborhoods just like this one across North Georgia. And for some people, they are welcome visitors. For others, they are a nuisance. But wildlife officials want all of us to know you simply can't kill them. It was terrible. Amanda Keyes lives in the estates at Johns Creek Apartments. Over the summer, she and her neighbors were horrified when a few dozen Canada geese turned up dead there. Well, some justice should definitely happen. You know, whoever did this should be charged or fined or something. After a month-long investigation, a Department of Natural Resources spokesman told me the state has identified the culprit as a pest control company called True Tech Wildlife. The state intends to fine them $50,000 and has cited an employee for putting down poison without a permit. It's heartbreaking. Melody Paris heads up a group called Georgia Animal Rights and Protection. They got involved after neighbors contacted them about the deaths. Really uh, unfortunate that these agencies here in the state of Georgia don't represent all Georgians. Um, you know, over and over again, when we see these things happen, you know, the, the message is by these, you know, a misdemeanor charge really is just a slap on the wrist or a fine. Neighbor Amanda Key says she misses her feathered friends and hopes the large fine sends a strong message to others who think it's okay to exterminate wildlife. Um, I feel that maybe some jail time or something. Um, I mean, these, these are federally protected animals. And state officials do confirm that federal fish and wildlife investigators are still involved in this case. And federal charges are not out of the question. Now, we did reach out to True Tech by phone last week to let them know we were working on this story. They told me we'd hear back from somebody, but so far we have not. So I reached out again via Facebook and Twitter, but no response as well. We'll let you know if we hear back from them. Live in North Fulton County, I'm Mike Pachenik, Channel 2 Action News. Thank you, Mike. Now, update.